establishment in North Chelmsford. So we have a lime in the coconut soup made by Cobblestones of Lowell. I have a vegan pozole, which is a Mexican soup, and it has a hominy in it and um, pinto beans and, and all different aromatics and tomatillos, and it's gluten-free. It's, it's healthy, you know, it's for everybody that can't eat meat. Oh, right here we have the Asian Caribbean uh, bouillon. It's a, it's a cultural African dish we've, we've made uh, in the Caribbean, Haiti. I learned it from my mom. It has beef chunks, yuca, yams, carrots, spinach, lots of hearty vegetables. It's the type of thing that will make you feel really warm in this weather. It's, it's also a little bit spicy, but not too spicy, with clutch bonnet peppers. Um, and um, yeah, we eat this all the time and especially in the cold. Uh, so we have a cheeseburger soup here today, uh, topped with some smoked cheddar and a homemade focaccia bread. This is, um, I mean, we've been in this event numerous years, um, counting. Um, we were actually runner-up last year, so we're hoping for a good score this year. We're serving um, chicken sage and sweet potato chowder. So this is our fourth year um, participating. We usually, uh, the first year we won first place in People's Choice and second for culinary, and we've placed every year. We're lasagna soup today. So it's a uh, ground Hamburg sausage with a uh, caramelized onion, tomato base, and then we top it with ricotta cheese, the noodles, and fresh basil. Uh, we have our Caribbean red bean um, soup here with, uh, with some rice at the start. Uh, you can top it with jerk chicken, plantain, shrimp, and green onions. We're halfway through the soups right now. We've tried um, a lime soup with coconut from Cobblestone, a really good Haitian soup. Where those dumplings are delicious. That's the number one so far. Yeah, that's the one from Sahel. The real friends with the soups you land around the way, of course. I'm really uh, happy about the size of the crowd here for this today, and the weather's been excellent, uh, given that it's the month of February. But I also, you know, when I was mayor and before I was mayor, I was a big proponent of having a festival every month in the city, and Winterfest is a big part of that. So I'm glad to see that this is this is a pretty successful event and uh, seems to get better every single year. The, the music in the tents has been spectacular. I was over listening to Blind Spot a short time ago, and. Uh, you know, and they were doing a great job. We like a lot of bands like Kings of Leon, The Killers, U2, stuff like that. So the majority of the music we played was our own. We played last year um, in the other tent, the um, Plaza tent, so now we played in both, which is cool. There is so much art in Lowell, and everybody just loves supporting each other with their music and, you know, any type of art. We have all great galleries around, and people come out and they want to hear, you know, original music, which is awesome, so... I started painting about a year and a half ago. Um, I kind of found my niche in water. I really like to paint water, it has a lot of movement. I also teach paint um, classes at Pino's Palette for paints at nights. So I kind of just threw myself into the art world very, very recently. <laughs> so here I am. I had found that I liked to paint water. I did a couple other paintings that aren't here right now that I found that when I started to paint, I felt more relaxed. It took, I took my time, I didn't feel rushed, that kind of thing. And I really like the underwater images, the half underwater images that I, I usually look up photography for like inspiration of things that I'm drawn to. And I found a few photos that I really liked the underwater kind of sweep 
where you could see the sky and it was different blues, that kind of stuff. And I originally painted it without the girl in the middle. So I painted it and I felt like it was missing something. So I was like, maybe I'll try to, I'll attempt to draw a figure there. And this is actually the first time I've ever drawn a full figure person. People tell, like yesterday, people were coming across from like, we were drawn to your table because it's so beautiful from far. So like, I really enjoy all of the compliments and all the appreciation for my artwork. So it's been pretty, I think it's been received pretty well. Um, I've seen people kind of go to walk by and do a double take and they're like, hold on. So it's definitely a confidence booster and everyone's very nice here. My name is Jennifer Wesley. Um, I, this is my first time at Wall Winter Fest and I am having a blast. I am having a blast. This is so much fun. Um, I have uh, products that basically it's uh, everything I'm repurposing, repurposing kimonos. So uh, my husband and I lived in Japan for about two years and I fell in love with the culture and the fabric and I brought back like a hundred kimonos and I do have a problem. And so, uh, but I don't need a hundred kimonos. So I've been repurposing them into things like the infinity scarves, ties, camera straps, hair clips, and frankly, anything else that sounds interesting. Dash is my dog. Uh, Dash, uh, he's a boxer and he is all full of personality and he spends his days with me while I work in the sewing room. So I figure he gets a little bit of credit for keeping me company while I sew. The majority of the ones that I have that I do turn into other things, they've had um, stains or uh, it might have a hole and then I can work around and just not use that portion. So it's a, another way of reduce, repurpose, reuse, all that good stuff. Anything that lets me make something out of something else or tweak it um, makes me happy. So these are the Geralds, each of the, the little guys with I legs. They're all named Gerald. Um, Probably, so I have to, you know, the whole process takes a month or so. Um, you gotta make it on the wheel first to get the cylinder, and then I spend another day adding the features, all the arms and legs, um, and then they gotta dry out, fire, glaze, fire again. So probably a month or so turnaround for each pot. Um, quite the commitment, quite the process, but it's really fun for me, and then I teach classes in between, so. It's pottery, like pottery or ceramics. For me, I call it pottery, it fits the name better. Um, I mostly make planters and functional work, mugs, bowls, stuff like that. Um, but I'm a big plant lady. How did you get into this scenario right now? Mm, great question. So my dad's actually Rotarian, so I've been kind of doing this since I was younger, but I was never quite able to fit into the marshmallow suit. I was too small. But now that I fit, I get to <laughs> work the marshmallow stand. So we're raising money for scholarships for high schoolers. So this is what we do. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, right now, I'm going around judging the competition, the music LOL, mural art competition. Uh, we have seven teams competing today uh, by young artists, 13 to 17 years old from schools and organizations uh, in the city. And I have to tell you, these artists, they're so talented. Um, I'm having a difficult making a decision on which one is going to be first place, second place, third place. But they're all winners because the artwork, they really reflect the theme of LOL where they want Lowell to be in, a, in the near future. Uh, it's called Lowell Coming Soon. But also um, what Lowell is doing right now, the, the success that Lowell is doing right now, but also what we want to achieve in the near future. Well, I think what's important to, uh, to the young artists, uh, to the young residents, the young population, it's important to all of us actually, they want to a clean Lowell. So I see a lot of work that have clean streets, the, the park are clean. Also, they focus on homeless issues. Um, they want to see more shelter. Uh, that's the work of the council that we're trying to do uh, to help the, the homeless uh, population or the unhoused population, but also uh, green energy. Uh, you know, all, all these important themes that they are thinking about. And it's, it speaks to me, it speaks to uh, the city because these are the things that we are working on and the young people, they are already thinking about it and they want to see us doing more work on it. So we have many uh, vendors, um, all, all from Lowell. They're here to uh, exhibit their, their work also to, uh, to sell uh, their work as well. Uh, we are very happy and thanks to Mesoc Lowell and uh, Like Lowell. Um, they're promoting our, our local artists. Um, they are very important to our community. Uh, as you know, without arts and without artwork, um, Lowell would not be as vibrant, would not be as lively without the, the arts community. So 
the theme of uh, the mirror competition is what we want to like see added into a lull in the future. So our idea was like a new homeless center for people who are homeless, of course. So right now they're painting like different buildings. Some like will have like places for them to sleep, uh, places to, for them to like find jobs and things and whatnot. We have a park for them to stay. We're gonna put a couple benches in there, maybe put a garden, things like that. So we wanted to do like a koi fish pond idea and then we also wanted, we sent out a survey to a middle school and they wanted to see more amusement parks and shelters. So that's kind of like our background. So we put like a Ferris wheel and a roller coaster. So our main priority of the mural is to bring naturalism into low infrastructure and we incorporate it by using um, Mother Nature. Mother Nature and bringing places like the court house, the adjusted building side. We need adjusted building into um, our piece, a mural piece. And the women represents like how we want Mother Nature to like um, encapsulate us and like create more like oxygen. And you know how it's just like, what does she represent? She's just like such a beautiful person. And we think greenery and a more nature inside the world would be such much better. And for like down there, if you like look really closely, there's like a garden bed of houses, which represents us wanting to bring more housing for people who are in need of like home, like because I think that's really a strong message that we need to incorporate into Lowell. Yeah, and we also um, carefully picked out plants where that are inhabited in Lowell. Okay, so the mural is what we wish to see in Lowell sooner. So it's like more plant life, more music, more like liveliness in our neighborhood. So it's not so boring for the children. So the mural that we're working on is the improvement of Lowell, almost like a futuristic looking type thing and we're trying to get um, we're trying to incorporate new things to it so that it looks more healthy more nature less um, garbage everywhere you know shelters you can have more shelters you want to add yeah um so we're also going to be incorporating people from Lowell that are like famous like um the Hispanic uh skateboarder Manny Santiago we're going to be including and we're going to put his signature skateboard that he uses with the Puerto Rican flag under it we're also going to be including um, Mickey Ward, who's also from here. And uh, Delia Sarah Gate, who is an artist who painted flowers. And um, so we're trying to incorporate a whole bunch of little things on the building so that we can have like decorative designs, but also we can keep the historic part of it. So we're trying to keep the history incorporated as well as the futuristic looking things, the nicer, better looking things. So pretty much our mural is just explaining the one of the local bridges that are in Lowell. So what's the name of our bridge again? Okay. What's the name? The green, yeah, the green bridge that's around here. And we just added buildings in the back and a blue sky and like a sunset in the background. We just um we wanted to add we wanted to uh, add more animals to Lowell because it feels like Lowell's kind of empty without them. Um, I think. There should be more animals because animals represent our community and and Lowell itself and Lowell needs like lots of animals. And animals aren't really, well they're obviously a thing obviously but we don't see that much in Lowell so adding more sea animals to our picture shows that Lowell needs more animals and shouldn't be like hurting animals with like the community and like littering and everything like that. Okay, so our mural is called Lowell Inclusive Cultural Courtyard, and we really wanted to display how we want in, like diversity in our community and everybody to come together and form as like a team and be able to just hang out 
And we kind of made this, we're trying, our inspiration is we're trying to make a space where everybody can just have fun, enjoy themselves, talk, and a bunch of activities where everybody can just live life. <laughs> and I'm really proud of us because it's just, we have so many wonderful people on our team. And because last year when this happened, we only didn't have like that many people. But I feel like when we have more people, it's everybody can just <laughs> work on it in lack of better terms and probably just get it done in time and make it just beautiful. Here last night to, to help welcome everyone, and I, I'm here all day, so uh, I enjoy it. I know that if somebody watching this show, it might be on after the winter uh, festival, but please come join us in the future. Come join us next year.